Welcome back to BBB Adventures and our coverage of our 2024 trip south in Birdie to escape the snowy, cold Idaho winter. In our last episode, we took a nice hike in the Arizona desert and then decided to drive to an area near the California border to check out Schooly Palooza. This episode starts the morning of our second day at Schooly Palooza. Good morning from Schooly Palooza. We had a nice night, slept really well. But the music, I don't know if you can hear it, but I, it may have gone all night, but, or maybe it stopped for a few hours, but they started up again. 6.30, 7 o'clock. Yeah, it's really loud. And all the songs sound the same to me. Oh well, it's still fun. It's a beautiful sunrise this morning. Got the solar panels out. You're having some energy for the blue, for the blue eddy. Pulling 46 watts. It's not too bad. Come on, buddy. Schooly pool is a breakfast. It's a leftover taco meat from last night. Mixed in with some scrambled eggs and cheese, sour cream. Well, it's actually Greek yogurt. We use the sour cream. And taco sauce. Taco sauce. Taco sauce. Taco sauce. Disco's enjoying some Greek yogurt. He's got it all over his face now. <laughs> Is quite gonna wash your face. Bon yeah. appetit. I'm dressed for the day. Brentley's not yet. Come here, buddy. He will be soon. Yeah, millions of people have used this family family, so on and so forth. So, yeah. even though I feel saturated, take a step back. Holy crap. Look who Brentley has. Look who Brentley has. Everly. I got Everly, the beautiful baby. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful. so beautiful? She's a beautiful, beautiful baby. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Get your faces in the sun. I'm like, I'm, we're in the middle of the yeah. oh. oh, she doesn't she like, doesn't the, like sun. the sun. <laughs> that was too bright. Yeah. Too bright. Yeah. It blew you away. It is so hard. So, mom and dad can have their breakfast. Thanks for watching the baby so we could eat. Yeah, we appreciate it. <laughs> it's hard that's to get all your hands at the same time, yeah. you know? <laughs> and that's Bella, Nola, and Jimmy. Oh, Bella. We were able to widen the space sure, Frankie a lot, Birdie. and and widen that space a lot means like it helps you out a lot. Right, because now two people can walk by. Correct. You're not like, oh, Correct. excuse me, pardon me. And I, I don't know so why is this, this couch... like a futon. It, no, it's sort yeah. of, it's yes. a, it's a, it sort of folds out like this. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a futon style. Yeah, yeah. yeah and we're gonna get rid we're gonna shorten it. It just sticks out so much. And it sticks yeah. out so much. Like, why does it need to stick out this yeah, far? Yeah, it's it's a little different when it comes to these, but you could always remodel them. You, and is, that's what we're gonna we're nice. gonna pre yeah. pretty much gut this and put the whole thing out. But the cool thing, and I, I'm sure you've, since you've had vans before, we've never yeah. had a van, but when I looked at van layouts, you know, the whole back of it is your bed. So you lose all of that floor yep. space. Yep. Here where you sleep up there, it opens up this, uh -huh. it's just, it's the same size, but so much more space. Yes, yes. Right. you know, like right. ours, ours didn't flow well. So we had to like rip out a bunch of things. I'm gonna get help pronouncing that. But this is the name of this bus. And I cannot wait to take a look inside. It's a bookstore. So cool. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, that's so cool. Are there any books for where we're gonna go? Texas. The blazing challenge of passion and war on the unconquered Texas frontier. Oh my gosh. Yep. Find that one. So, it's the traveling bookstore. I've already found one. The Silent Patient, a very good book. If you're in the market for finding a good book to read, I recommend that one of these. Hi, can you please tell me your name? I'm Rhea. Rhea, what's the name of this? Called Rosinante Traveling Book Co. Rosinante. Mm -hmm. It's Not... actually it's from Don Quixote. Oh, okay. So his beat up old horse that gets dragged on all his adventures. Thanks. <laughs> oh, 
You're my first there's a cat in there. Day. Oh, there's a cat in there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> That's a cat. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you gotta come in Look at this. What a selection. Murders, murder. Westerns. Stephen King. Yeah. I think I do have changes. Classics. Thank you so much. Come back and see us sometime. Do you have a copy of Little Women? Uh, I, well, I've got that kind of, like, my bad bitches of romance up there, but I don't know if I have a separate copy. Let me double check. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah, the, the, the set. The yeah. set. How's it going, guys? Well, we've only been on the road since October, um, but the renovation, the idea was in the works for about two years. We just kept wandering off to take other jobs. And see you live in this as well? Yes. So the back couple, the back is two bucks for me and my business partner. Oh, very cool. Yep. So she'll be here tomorrow with her dog and between the four, the four girls, it can be a little bit of chaotic, but we make it work. I love it. So we're, we've entered the store part, like the... The vendor part of it's the Schooly Palooza. It's the mall. The Schooly mall. mall. So the bookstore was our first stop, and then you can buy a longboard if you'd like. They look definitely handmade. And over here is a shop with some jewelry and some clothing. Looks like they bought a longboard. Yeah, five years of product development. Patches. Dream catchers of a sort. Blankets, jewelry, wind chimes. Oh my god, that's so cool. I know who needs that. Well, Brentley um, fried up the chicken breasts we had in the freezer that were defrosting anyway. We had a chicken breast sandwich. So good. So good. Now we're gonna go for a walk and hopefully talk to some folks here at Schooly Palooza. This is an example of a circle that forms at Schooly Palooza. It's possible all of these people know each other and they plan to meet up here to form a circle. It's possible they don't know each other. Anything's possible here at Schooly Palooza. This here's the Price Fam Adventures. Follow them on Instagram. What's your name and where are you from? Sean Egger from Wolf Point, Montana. Montana, and you're driving a uh, Chevy 86 van. Chevy short bus. Yeah, it's a van, a, a bus on a van chassis. Very yep. cool. We considered that once upon a dime. Um, he says we get to go and look inside. Yeah, take in and show you around. And you're mostly full time. Um, yeah, we're heavy part-time, so we are pretty much gone all winter, so. Yeah, Montana, I understand that. <laughs> this is the Chevy Van Short Bus. Awesome. Go ahead. It's a great size. Step through the screen there if you'd like. 350? Yep. Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Christine. Christine. My name is Mary Beth. Hi, Mary Beth. Oh. Look at this Scrabble game. Yeah. That's really cool. That was my um, retirement, like a gold watch. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> yeah, and the, but the neat thing is, it's from a school, and the kids all came up with the words. Oh, very cool! So my favorite is zestful. <laughs> zestful, <laughs> it's awesome. I love the cubic mini. These are so cool. Brantley's admiring the cubic mini fireplace. They're so cool. Camp stove or whatever you call it. Do you them. heat water with it in the winter? Yes. Well, when, it, when we have it running, yeah. And then, I don't know if you're familiar with these, but these are like... Yeah, the little yeah. fan that runs the heat yep, yep. and pushes the air around. Yep, just gets on there and this is the bed, you know, and it just goes, this part comes up and... Oh, that's so neat. Nice. Look at the wood, they got wood, wood storage. Yeah. That's so oh, cool. Yeah. So cool. And this seat pivots around for when you're right. going down the road. Correct. And if you open the cupboards up there, that's our main storage. So oh. 
That's our Jeez, it's huge. Yeah, our that is huge. In there, our batteries are in there. Our um, converters in there. Wow. Yeah. We have a TV, you know, for when you can't find anything besides DVDs. <laughs> um, we have, so we started in the little van. Uh huh. And so we have this fridge. And okay. so then we needed a bigger one. So this is a fridge freezer combo. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we actually, when I when we leave home, we fill that and make it a freezer and make this a freezer. And so that'll meat. be a, that can be a freezer as well. Yeah, yeah. So usually this is the freezer and this is the fridge fridge freezer combo. And right now that's actually empty and we have it full of produce. So it's oh, it's you know on the, the crisper. Yeah, yeah. I mean we have it on, but it's not <laughs> yeah. on very much. Yeah. 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 So that yeah, if you pull that up, it, it flips up. So that's our bathroom. Oh, yeah. the Shower. Yep. So the composting toilet. Composting toilet comes out. It's actually, um, and then this, these are for the shower head. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Click up here, and we have a recirculating shower. Oh. And so then it, we just suck up the water right. and it goes through the filter. Filter and, system and. Yep. Mm hmm And then this does telescope up this piece right here. Okay. If you want, we don't use it, but we thought we would. Yeah. There's if there's a button over there, but at, or it can connect, come off and connect on that oh, metal strip for and an outside table. shower. Oh, 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 this piece. This, oh, oh, this piece. Oh, right this here. piece. Comes this just up. comes. It comes straight. Oh, up. I see the leg. I see the leg now. Yep. It, but you can just have it up here too if you mm -hmm. want. Oh, that's and it doesn't clever. get wet up here if you don't have that up. We use a shower curtain most of the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's sure. just easier. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, we, some other kind of cool features. Since we're from the cold, you can you can see this one still together. He doubled the windows, and then we put reflectix. Oh, uh, in between. between. And then we also have. On all, oh, all yeah. Windows. Some, yeah. Yeah. We have that over here too. It's so just it's under super the insulated. So, well, for windows, I mean, you know, yeah, windows right. are windows. Windows are windows, yeah. And then he put this in, which is really cool, um, I think, for a drawer. Drawers, I mean, you need them, but they kind of take up space. So this is a double decker drawer. Oh, oh very cool. So there's all our vitamins. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's nice. really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. And that's I a, see the plexiglass in the back windows for yes. insulation too. Yes, he did that. He doubled those as well. Yeah. yeah. So he was in the fire department for 20 years. Oh. Mm -hmm. He was a chief for several of those. Is that why he burnt all the wood? Because he's in the fire department. Yeah, they kind of have pyros. <laughs> they like, they, they, <laughs> there's a fine line between a firefighter and a pyro. pyro <laughs> Here's more storage. This is a really big area. So pots and pans have oh, a lot yeah. of pantry. Really there. big. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And But my favorite is right there. The, uh, that little storage area. It's just, you know, it's handy. The spice rack. Oh, right oh yeah. Right, right outside the bathroom. Oh, and it's got yeah. the bungees to keep yep. stuff in. Yep. And so... And what's in here? Uh, that's the recirculating shower. And oh, okay. The, and we keep some water in here, too. So the hot water tank's in here. Oh, I forgot I have some iced tea. I need to get that out and drink that. And how many gallons is in the recirculator? Three? Three yeah. or four? Yeah, three. Yeah. So we, we each take a shower about four times, and then we want to change the water. Right. Right around there. You know, yeah. I mean, it's not... It, it, you can make it go longer, but that's like comfortable. Right. And, we, and we'll throw still in still eight showers. Yeah, and we'll throw in a um, bleach tablet yeah. too if we want to yeah. make it. So I also have some, some then more. Sh I liked that so much I had to make oh. them over here. <laughs> so, oh yeah, little pantry area there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Sprinkles. Nice. Yum. Yeah, that's it. So yeah. Well, it's nice. beautiful. Thanks for showing us. You're welcome. Thanks for coming in. Oh, thank you for having us. You don't worry about. Me. I forgot to ask the Eggers a question. I have a question for you. As I walked up to the circle of buses, I was making a guess that you all know each other. Yes. Yes. Kind of. You In met last event. year? Yeah. Um, yeah. And not all of us knew each other, but somebody, somebody knows somebody. somebody. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, knew, we knew these two. Uh-huh. Yeah, and they knew Several, okay. Several new <laughs> so it grows organically. So, yes. Up. Yes. Yep. And uh, well, like-minded. Yes. Stuff. Right. So. Um, do you communicate ahead of the event? Um, a little bit because for our Instagrams. But uh huh. Andrew's probably the only one I, and that's very little. Okay. So, but yeah, most of these guys stay in touch. Well, more, more of it was just like, uh, are you going to school? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then when we got here, hey, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at? Yeah, nice. We weren't here yet. Okay. <laughs> Great. That's it. That was all we did. Thank you. Now, yes, you uh, what year? 2009 E450 6.0 Ford chassis ambulance from Houghton, Michigan. Houghton, Michigan. They turned it into a four-wheel drive. It was not a four-wheel drive ambulance, yeah, although that would be really cool. We took it down to U-Joint cool. in Asheville, North Carolina, who specializes in the 
poor Jackie. Nice. And this is the outdoor kitchen slash toolboxes? No, it, that's all, all actually uh, part of the kitchen. That's where okay. the plates and the silverware and the oh, utensils are. Very cool. So the fridge is on the right. Yes, I can see the fridge. The, co the red thing is the smoker. It's a pellet smoker. Oh, very cool. And then there's a pull-out griddle. And then the right spot where there's kind of an empty spot right now will be the pull-out sink. And that's uh, propane? That is propane. It's not full right now because um, we haven't finished the whole build. Uh, because, is... because his motto is? Go further, stay out longer. Go further, stay out longer. You're going to need a propane tank that size for that. Was this your guys' idea to have this thing pivot around? Yeah, my husband uh, designed, it, created it, designed it, crafted it, built it, and then had it powder coated. And then... It's beautiful. Yeah, it was his small project. We're fortunate that there's like a co-working workshop space near where we live so we could go use all the welding equipment. And so this thing is on, built on hinges and when they travel down the road it just folds up to the back of the bus, back of the ambulance. Amazing. It passes. Every, every ambulance comes with an electrical panel like that. Look at that. And she was telling me that um, there's two schools of Two camps of school? Two, two schools, schools of, of thought. Camp, two schools of thought. One is you, you tear it, it all out. over and you tear it all out and start all over. Or you use it. Or you use it. And, and they have this beautiful factory schematic, so using it isn't that big a deal. You, it looks complicated, but when you have the schematic, you can trace every wire. You know what every wire does? They're all labeled. They're labeled. The labels match the schematic. Yeah. It's very beautiful. Cool. Well, you, yeah, we are not done with the build. We keep taking it places You're instead never of be working done. on it. So. But you don't want to be done. It's <laughs> so, so cool. Yeah. Then you have to buy another one. No. I do like it. This is our dream. That's a nifty tent, like an urt. It's a. Uh, it's a uh, tarot, tarot reading. Party. One to four, or by appointment. I've never had my tarot cards read. Oh, I like the elephant. The zebra. This is like a safari over here. Maybe there's a big bus coming. It's going to run you over. Oh, I better get out of the way. We're coming up to the pole, and I hope it's a different question today. It is. It's a different question. Are mermaids considered mammals? Yes, mermaids are considered mammals. Oh, that's a good question. How do mermaids give birth? Hmm, I have to think about this one. Are mermaids considered mammals? 65% of the vote yesterday was Disney movies are in fact musicals. 73.64%. Exactly. I have a question about today's question. What is your question? How do mermaids give birth? We don't know the answer. We don't know the answer. We also don't know asking. if they lactate, and we don't know if they have gills or lungs. So the answer is completely uh, subjective, how you feel. How do you feel about it? Well, that? I feel that they do lactate because they have breasts. Right. And so. I don't think they have gills. Okay, well then yes. there you go. So they're mammals. Rocks in the box. Just, Rocks in the box. Just know that if the unanimous answer is yes, tomorrow's question is a, it's a bit of a doozy. Oh, I won't be here tomorrow, tell me. Oh, well, if the answer is unanimously yes, the next question is, uh, if you eat the bottom half of a mermaid, is that cannibalism? Yes. <laughs> All right, we're leaving. Yes. It's nice to meet you guys. Nice we are leaving Schooly Palooza. We're going to stay longer next year. This was a hoot. I hope so. I hope yeah. we get to hang out next we'll year. Yes. We'll be here yes. next year. We got, we got new friends. We will. We'll be here. We'll be here next year. One way or another. I'm hoping, we'll that, I'm hoping that we are here too, but yeah. I don't know what we'll be in. Right. You never know. It'll look like. You could have yeah. this the, the uh, lab of luxury. <laughs> we're not going to have this. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> if we do have one, it will be something that we've built inside ourselves. Nice. Perfect. But th these are cool, though. Oh, there. It's it gives nice. us a whole new perspective right. on another way to travel. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's a good experience. Yeah. All right, bud. So Can good you to see you. Hugs? Yeah, yes. absolutely. So uh, great. We have to give Alex a hug inside. Yeah, yeah we're going to go. Yeah, we're going to go do that. Lunch right now, so. Alex, we're leaving. Hug time. So nice to meet you guys. So nice to meet you. So nice so fun. Yeah. So fun. We had such a good time kicking your butt last night. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate it. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like they said, don't play cause of me. Right. So, well, you know, when first, I win, we win. The first time we play, we usually let somebody win. Oh, so, no, you know, that's, that's you know, okay. next time we'll get you. you like... Next time we're going to get you. Okay, okay. All right. We'll All right. Bye. 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 You too.
So that was our Schooly Palooza experience. We're on our way out. We are on our way out. It was super fun. Glad we made that last minute decision to do that. Yeah, that was fun. It was. Yeah, it was a little taste of it. Uh, now we just yeah. want to come back and do it for the whole week. Right. Super fun. We had a great time meeting FNA Van Life. What does FNA stand for, Mary Beth? Frank and Alex. Frank and Alex. And Everly. And Everly. Um, it was awesome. Sorry we missed you, Paco. That's our little doggy. So yeah, check their channel out. We'll yes. obviously have a link to their channel in our in the description. It was uh, it was a great uh, 24 hours. Approximately Gosh. 24 hours. It seemed like a lot longer. It, it did seem longer, but we spent about 24 hours at the Schooly Palooza. And we learned a little bit about boondocking and birdie. Yeah. Birdie boondocking. It'll be great when she's finally fully set up for that. Uh, it worked great for 24 hours. We and our our 100 watt solar panel charged our battery while it refrigerate while it, the, the refrigerator, refrigerator was plugged in. So we could actually have stayed another day, but. Um, we have commitments. We got people to see. So. This was yeah. This was not part of our original sort of thought process. So yeah, we got to get going. But. Yeah. And please, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to our channel. Um, so, um, thanks for watching. Enjoy the ride, and always wear a helmet. Wear a helmet. Stay tuned for our next episode, where Texas is our destination, followed by some more time with Ragbri Team 985 and Mardi Gras.